What is up, Butt Check family? Thank you guys for tuning in once again. It is Wednesday. We are back. We got a, we got a lot to talk about. Butt Check. Today, once again, we're going to get straight to it and we'll get back to the full hot clips and whatnot on the next episode. All right, now we're to them first set of vaccinated buttons that need to be checked. You be the judge. All right, so as you know, uh, CEO, right, is coming up. Well, I'm, what is CEO again? I want to say it's sometime, is it sometime this month or December? I can't remember. I'll, I'll put it on the screen if I remember by the time I'm saying this. But anyway, it's coming up. Oh, and for those that might be out the loop and not know what CEO is, it's one of the biggest fighting game tournaments that we have in the FGC. Some would say it's only second to like what, Evo? Anyway, very important, iconic tournament within the FGC. And on top of that, there was a lot going on around it because you know, Evo basically didn't happen. It was still online. So CEO though was like, you know, we're actually gonna come back this year, but they had like new rules, new regulations. They were like, I believe it was like, either you had to be vaccinated and present your, your, you know, your vaccination card, or you have to present a test, like a negative COVID test within the last, I don't know, in the last month or something like that, something like that. So Mr. CEO, Alex Jabaley posted this the other day saying me, so glad October is over. One of the worst months of my personal life in recent memory. November 1st opens email and you can see this email request right here that he posted saying CEO registration staff, I'm fully vaccinated. However, I refuse to show proof of vaccination. I do not wish to participate in an event hosted by COVID Nazis. Far leftist mandates have no place in Florida. Therefore, I am withdrawing my resignation and requesting a refund. Thank you in advance for your assistance in this matter. Okay, as you can imagine, the FTC starts respond to that. I'm kind of confused in a way because I'm confused by the message because I'm like, this dude kind of went at him, right? Talking about, you know, COVID Nazis. That's, that's those pretty harsh words. But then at the end, he says, thank you. <laughs> at the end, he says, thank you in advance though for your attention to this matter. I'm also confused though is like, you know, I, I get it and I you know this is this is button check, you know what I'm saying? So we gonna check these buttons. I'm not gonna turn it into no political issue though or anything like that. But you know, since we are talking about it, also I'm confused just because like he's saying I'm vaccinated, but I, re I refuse to show proof to you COVID Nazis. I thought, let me know if, if I was wrong, but I thought the argument was there's some people out there that are like pro vaccination and then there's other people out there that are not. Like, no, we don't believe in it at this point for whatever reason. And then the opposite side is like, no, we do believe in it. And there's people in the middle like, I'm just undecided. I thought those were basically the arguments. This guy sounds like he did get it. So I would think that he would be like, I got it, so I'm down for it. But yet at the same time, he's like, I got it, but I refuse to show you proof, fuck you. So that's why I'm confused. Like, if you got it, why, would, why wouldn't you be down at showing the proof? And I'm, there's another loop I'm missing. So on top of that, I think some people are posting like maybe it's just his excuse that he's actually not vaccinated. Um, so who knows? I don't even know if if he's eligible for a refund. I guess that's up to Jabaley. But I did see people, others, kind of calling out Gutex. Y'all remember Gutex, right? He called, they say, hey, is this Gutex? Gooey actually responds to that saying, laugh out loud, no, but this is the energy that we need right now. Then of course, as you might imagine, the FGC responds to that. You got some people giving their testimonies saying they agree or they, they love that Gutex energy and they give their own testimonies like they were forced to vax and they still got it and whatnot. And then of course you got that other side of the fence that disagrees and like are kind of lost or taking shots at Gutex. I noticed one in particular that kind of stood out because Gutex replied to it right here saying, you're an embarrassment to our community for being this fucking stupid. Gutex then responds to that saying, that's the best part about communities, isn't it? No memberships, no written rules. Everyone can come and go as they please. If I'm too much, of an embarrassment, feel free to get the fuck out. Which brings up an interesting point. And first off, before I even get into that, Gutex, uh, I haven't seen much of him lately as far as like when it comes to gaming. But it looks like, from what I could see, it's like he's still sticking to his guns, you know, as far as like his political views, um, being very opinionated when it comes to that, and standing up for what he believes in. And in doing so, you have others in the FGC saying either you need to get the fuck out the community, you're an embarrassment. And on that side, you have him saying, no, you get the fuck out. And that's, that's what I wanted it to come to right here. It's a very interesting uh, discussion to be had because it's like, 
At the end of the day, when we talk about canceling people, when we talk about people getting out of the community, is there actually any way really to do that? Because it sounds like we threaten it all the time, you know what I'm saying, as far as like the FGC on Twitter. People are always talking about being canceled. People are always talking about being banned or kicked out. And I understand certain tournaments, obviously, if a TO wants you gone, they could ban you from a tournament, right? Whether it be online or offline, I get that. If you have a sponsor, they could drop you. But when it comes to actually being totally kicked out of a community is that actually possible and it brings up another interesting video a point of view that I saw the other day from Shadow X Law profile on the screen right here if you guys want to go ahead and check him out I put his link in the description field as well he posted this video kind of along the same lines talking about like if you're talking about ruling and judgment who are we and who are you to judge me it's your boy Shadow Law here all about that motivation the positivity and that truth first i'm gonna preface it like this in the anime seven deadly sins you have the lion sin of pride escanor he, he faces fights off against a demon he asks one simple question who decided that so let's look at a lot of things in life they seem to be really arbitrary well in the scope of fighting games gaming in general someone comes up with arbitrary stats and standards and saying you must be basically this high or in this club to have an opinion. So let me ask you this. Who decided that? You got to have a certain percentage to be solid. Who decided that? You had to be a certain rank to have an opinion. Who decided that? You had to belong to a certain FGC or a certain organization to have any kind of pull or clout in this game. Who decided that? Not me. I don't hear about any codified uh, laws in the FGC. And the last time something got codified, it fell flat on its face, FGCOC. So, yeah, long story short, don't let anybody tie you down to any arbitrary standard. It's basically a form of bullying, basically a form of gatekeeping, and it's 100% BS. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for the okie don't, don't let Don't let anybody control you. Stay free. Stay, stay unchained, not free for defeat, but just stay unchained because your boy's unchained. He's done with the BS. He's done being held back. So next time, stay classy. And to clear things up as well, that video wasn't posted around this subject. Like he actually posted this video a while ago. I want to say like two or three weeks ago. So it wasn't about this whole incident. But after reading, you know, this whole debate and everything, that video kind of connects when it comes to people, as far as like, you know, trying to ban people or having a ruling and, and trying to exclude, you know, individuals for whatever reasons. Cause it's almost like it falls along the same lines of people like, yeah, you could, you could say certain things, you could say certain rules or certain bans, but who are you to say so? So once again, that brings me back to the original question. The FTC, we talk about it being a community, which in a lot of ways it is, but the reality is it's a lot of small camps, it's a lot of states and neighborhoods and tournaments, it's a bunch of individual things coming together claiming FGC. So ultimately, yes, we love the same things and we're, we're in it for a lot of common you know, reasons, but at the end of the day, it is individualized, you know what I'm saying? So do, is there, I should say, any real power to look at an individual and say, you know what, you're out of here. Besides the obvious ways, like I said, the tournaments and the sponsors, if they want to drop you, you know what I'm saying? Because here are the facts, like even when that PogChamp thing happened, Twitter was on fire, right? Twitter, everybody was like, e either let's, let's get them out of here or ban them and whatnot. But if you went over to YouTube and if you looked at other comments, there was a lot of people there not giving a shit or like, you know, agreeing with Gutex. So basically, I only say that to say this, is like if we're getting all of our information from one social media source like Twitter, a lot of times that could seem like an illusion. You know, same thing, if you get it all from YouTube, it could seem like an illusion. I swear, it's, it's really weird because you can see a story break loose where somebody's like, either taking shots or, or, you know, talking shit. And it can seem like a lot of people, you know, they say birds of a feather flock together. You can see a lot of people and you might start thinking, oh shit, this is what the world really thinks. But if you turn the channel or if you go to another social media site and you actually do some investigation, you start reading, you're like, oh, wait a minute. There's actually people that have a different perspective. I think I'm kind of getting a lost perspective right now because I'm starting to lose my train of thought. But you know what the hell I'm saying? A lot of times 
perspectives and the FGC is, is a lot deeper and bigger than we paint the picture on social media. That it is, ladies and gents, definitely let me know how you're feeling. Thank you guys for all the amazing love. So what do you think at the end of the day, man? We have CEO trying to do the damn thing. They're trying to be respectful, trying to do it in the safest way possible. You got people calling them assholes, calling them Nazis for wanting them present, present their card even though apparently they're vaccinated. Then you got the Gutex debate where people are like, you're an embarrassment, get the hell out. And he's basically like, who are you to tell me to get the hell out? And real quick, since we missed yesterday in that HT, we're gonna end it on that HT vibe, you know what I'm saying? I saw this, somebody posted this or tagged me this the other day, I fucking died, all right? So apparently somebody posted this saying, if anyone, if anybody wants to know the backstory, it's a video from Exotica, 2021, so obviously this year, Expo in New Jersey. So this guy was basically calling out this woman saying, please, I guess, put it on me. And she was like, are you sure? Cause I'm about to send you to the grave. And you can see him on the video said, yes, send me to the, do it, do it. I want you to do it. Uh, I'm gonna to the she Lord. said, my father. send me Jesus to the Lord, everybody. the heavenly father. Are you sure you ready for that trip? It's a one way, it's not a She trip. said, are you it's sure you ready sir. for that trip? Cause it's a one way. He said, yes, yes. Let's do it. Yes, yes, I'm there, I'm ready. I'm thinking too, what the hell's about to happen? It's a fun day! And there it is! <laughs> there it is! I can't even talk after that. That dude, people post, you know, they say this is, this is him after that. I, I'm, woo! Yeah, thank y'all for tuning in. See y'all soon. God bless y'all and God bless this young lady. God, God bless y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. We'll see you soon, not tomorrow. Definitely the next day. Peace. Blah, 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 subscribe. Oh, you can He said, yes, take me to Jesus. Take me, Lord, take me now, I'm ready. He said, take me now, victory. Touchdown, Lord. I don't see the light. Take me.